The Lord has chosen me for this office, but not for myself, not for my glory, not for my honour, but for the sake of the universal church. I'm just only one among the servants of God. Your support for me is ultimately your support for the church, not for me as a person, but the office that I hold. Because all of us, we are called to be servants of Christ, according to the position, according to the talents and charisms the Lord has given to us. And we must never forget that. After all, the Holy Father is the servant of servants. And I'm too, in that sense, a servant to you all. We are all servants to each other and servants to the world. I think it's very important for us always to be conscious of our role. Whatever we do, remember that first and foremost, we are servants of Christ, not even servants of the bishop or the cardinal or even the Holy Father. We are servants of Christ. Each one of us, we are called to hand on the mysteries of God. Each one of us, we are called to make Christ present in our lives, in our midst. I'm sure all of us who are here, we want to serve God. We want to glorify Him. We want to make His name known. We want to make His love felt in our midst and to those people that we do not know. And so this is where we want to be ready for the mission ahead. And I do not know what the future is ahead of me and ahead for you all as well. Only time will unfold what the Lord wants of us all to do and how the Lord wants you to do will also depend on how He is going to direct me because at the end of the day, whatever I do is to direct the church. I think at the end of the day, we have to ask ourselves, are we living according to the conscience? So it is a trust given to us and to be entrusted with this work is really a great responsibility because I'm always conscious that whatever we do, especially as leaders, whatever we do, we can discredit our Lord. Whatever we do, we can scandalize the Christian community, that we make people lose faith in God because of our own imperfections, our own sinfulness. We are always reminded also that there is a need for us to adapt and to change. Being a leader does not mean simply to be fixated on what we think we should do. There's so many things to adapt because we are not too certain of what is ahead. There'll be last minute changes. I think it's very important that also whatever we do, we learn to be flexible. We learn to flow with the time. You know, things will not happen exactly the way we want. We need to fit into the situation. And this is true, not just in terms of our own daily life experience, but also the way we assume leadership in the church today. With so many challenges in the church, with so many new trends and so on, the church will learn how to adapt. Let us pray that we continue to do all that we can, keep our conscience clear, and no matter how sincere we are, how good we are, there will always be misperception, misunderstanding, people have their own different views. But I think what is important is that our conscience is clear before the Lord, let God be the judge. We do all that we can within our powers and also our own limitations. Also being aware that even whatever we do, sometimes we ourselves are also blinded to our own weaknesses, to our own imperfections. And only God can enlighten us where we should be purified and where we should grow. But so long as we walk sincerely in the truth, and even though objectively what we do might not be the best thing, God does not punish us for that because I think at the end of the day, God will judge us according to how sincere we are in serving Him.